Hi guys, this is Sam from Fluid Social and today I want to talk to you about how to overcome approach anxiety. I think this is probably the most important topic that I can talk about at the moment. It's the one that most of you are facing and it's the one that I never see any really good advice on how to do this. I want to start by going over what I think the problem is with, the, with today's advice. We have this idea of the sort of hyper-masculine um, warrior mindset whereby the, the, the discipline comes from beating yourself up. It's like, you're fucking up, man. You need to do better. Make yourself do it. Kick yourself up the arse. Get yourself together. And we have this sort of militant mindset. But what tends to happen if you have a very militant coach with someone who feels a little bit down or a little bit soft is sometimes that military mindset, that hyper-masculine mindset, can actually push that person who's feeling maybe a little bit soft or weak further down into that hole. When they feel like they're not achieving, they feel guilty and bad for not achieving. When they feel like they're missing the mark, they feel like that's game over and they can't do it. They can't achieve what they want to achieve. And so I think though this advice is, generally speaking, it can be positive, I think often it can actually have the adverse effect of actually having a negative effect. And so I want to move this into the cold approach. What happens is you go out and you feel some anxiety, you see a girl you like, you don't approach her because you feel anxious. You don't approach her because you feel, I just can't do it today. I'll do the next one. I'll do it tomorrow. I just cannot do it today. And then you go back home and you reflect on it and you say, look, I failed again. I should have got myself together. I should have been stronger. I should have had the courage to go out, but, I, but it's done now and I failed. I failed to do it. And you sink lower into that hole and you reinforce that belief system that you're not good enough or you're not confident enough to go out and take that action. And in my experience, there's another way of looking at this. And what, how I learned this is from my morning routines. It took me a very long time to form the discipline to have a solid morning routine, which I have now. And the reason why was because that if I set my alarm for 7.15 and then I got up at 8.15 because I failed to set my alarm, in my mind I would say, right, you failed, right? You missed the mark. It's out the window. You failed. That's it. It's done. And when I started learning about morning routines, I started reading, reading more about forming habits, I started to understand that the mindset you must adopt is that, no, I haven't failed. I set the intention to get up, up at that time, or I set the intention to go and talk to that woman. That's already a step in the right direction. Now look, it's 8.15. I missed the mark. I didn't get up at 7.15. But okay, at least I set my alarm. Tomorrow, I'm going to focus on this intention again. I'm going to try and get up at 7.15. I'm going to try and meditate. I'm going to try and get to the gym. And in the same way, when you think about women, right, I didn't approach that girl today. I should have done. I wanted to, but it's okay. This is just the first step. This is the first beginning. This is the new day that I'm going to start again and try and focus on that intention and create that reality. So instead of saying at the end of the day, I failed again, you say, no, I've taken one step in the right direction. Tomorrow, I'm going to return my focus to this process. I'm going to keep looking at the faces of the women around me and I'm going to start again and I'm going to get it right. I'm going to keep progressing in that direction. And what I found with my morning routines is that after about five days of struggling to get each step in, the getting up at 7.15, the meditation, the reading, the stretching, the going to the gym, the jumping in the sea, coming home, shower, making a video. That's my morning routine. After five days of resetting my intention on that goal, on that outcome, it was already a habit. And then for the following seven days, I didn't miss the mark once. Then on the eighth day, I did miss the mark because I had to get up at 6.30 to go on a tour with a client. And so I said, right, well, this is tough. I've missed the first day. Then I got home, I got back at around 11.30, 12, 12 o'clock, and I said, right, well, why can't I start again now? And I just did my morning routine four hours later. And this is exactly the same when it comes to women. Whenever I find myself in a slump, whenever I find myself failing to take the actions I need to take, not approaching the women I like the look of, losing my focus, now, instead of saying, right, you're failing, you're messing up, get a hold of yourself, you should be more courageous. I say, it's okay, you're forming a habit. Habits aren't easy to form. They require patience, time and support. And so instead of beating myself up, I say, right, this is the first step in the right direction. 
Today I didn't reach that goal. Tomorrow I reset my focus on it. I carry that intention throughout the day and I give it my best go again tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I wake up feeling horrible, not having slept well, and it's difficult again. And I only manage to go to the gym. I don't manage the meditation, the reading, or the stretching. Okay, you're one step closer. You did one part. Plan the day again, reset your intention, and go at it tomorrow. I guarantee you, this is my guarantee, if you're looking to approach women, and you set the intention to do it, and you follow the steps that I'm about to give you, and on the first day you're not able to do it, and on the second day you're not able to do it, but each day you reset that intention and you leave the house with the intention of speaking to a woman in the day, I guarantee you by day five you will have done it. The only reason you're not able to do this, the only reason why it feels like your approach anxiety is stopping you from achieving what you want to achieve is because you're giving up when it goes wrong, and you just can't do that. Understand that every time you set the intention, you're building positive propaganda in your head. You're building a marketing system for the skill that you're trying to acquire. Each time you think about it, each time you observe the faces around you of the people you see in the day, you're building yourself in that direction. And I guarantee you by day five, it won't even feel as challenging. The actions had so much of your focus, so much of your attention that it almost starts to feel natural, even though you're not in the rhythm of doing it. So I believe that this is the most important thing. I wanna give you the steps that you should follow in order to actually follow through and make this happen. So the first step is to begin again. Set the intention today, right now, as you're watching this video, I will approach a woman I like in the daytime. I will do it, I will do it, even though it's difficult now, even though the circumstances aren't perfect, even though there's not many people around, even though I'm meant to stay indoors, I'm gonna go out on my walk and I'm gonna set that intention if you're in the UK. If you're in a country that's more open, set that intention as well. You're gonna have more opportunities, it might be easier, but every single one of you can do this. Step number two, carry that focus with you into the next moment. So when you leave this video, carry that intention with you. I'm going to approach a woman today. I'm gonna to make it happen. I'm gonna leave the house, I'm gonna follow step one and two, I'm gonna form the intention, I'm gonna carry it through, and then step three. If you focus on the faces of the people around you, your anxiety leaves. The anxiety is a fear of the unknown, it's a fear of what might happen. When you're focused on the faces of the individuals around you, you can with reasonable clarity and accuracy predict how they're going to respond. So when you leave the house, you focus on the faces of the people around you. And what you might find is you see a beautiful woman, you get that tightness, you get that anxiety, then you look at her face, you see that she's relaxed, that she's smiling, and you say, she's not going to respond badly to me. I can tell that. I can see how she feels. I can predict how she's going to respond based on her facial expressions. If she's relaxed, if she's walking slowly, if she's standing by a shop or a restaurant, how is that woman smiling? relaxed, going to be rude to you when you politely go up to her and say, hey, I've got to be honest, I just walked past you and I thought you looked cool, I wanted to come and meet you. How could that woman respond badly? And if she does, what does that mean? Absolutely nothing. It reflects in no way any negativity on your character. It in no way reflects who you are or some sort of diminished sense of your personality. All it means is that right in that moment, she was not prepared for the conversation and she didn't want to follow through. Go back to step one, reset your intention, focus on the people around you, carry that intention into the next moment and start again. Step number four, if you don't approach anyone, if you fail to do it, pull your attention back to the intent to do so. Every single person that has reached success is down to the habits that they've created. Every single habit they created was difficult to create in whatever area, whether it's approaching women or building a business, it was never the case that they woke up, they knew what to do, they worked an eight hour day and got it done. No, they didn't know what to do. They felt insecure. They believed they couldn't do it for a moment. They tried to do it, they failed. They woke up the next day, they gave it another go. It was difficult again. After a week, they were in a habit. They were building in a positive direction. After a month, they'd met, they've moved mountains. After a year, 
they've got a successful business. It's exactly the same for you with approaching women. Every day, every morning, build into your morning routine the intent to go out and approach women. Do not miss a day of returning to that intention because one day missed sets that habit back three days. The compound effect will ensure that if you stick to your intention, you move through your day carrying that intention and when things don't go the way you want them to, you reset the next day, return to that intention, follow the steps, carry the intention through the day into the next moment, leave the house, look at the faces of others and give it a go. And if you can't, you carry that back and begin again the next day. Five days of this is what it will take. Five days of focusing that intention on approaching someone you like in the day and you'll have it down. I guarantee that if you actually follow through with these steps. This is the most important thing I can talk about. This is the, the obstacle that most of you are facing and all it takes is for you to do this. Just build this into your morning routine, whatever that is. Morning routines are utterly essential. My life is a mess without them. But when I do it, when I build my morning routines, it's easy to build more positive habits into them. Each time you go to the gym, when you go to the gym, it's easier to drink more water. When you drink more water, it's easier to have the energy to approach someone walking down the beach after you've done it. And once you've got those five steps, you can add a sixth and a seventh and an eighth and everything starts compounding from there. But do not forget to build this intention into your morning. I'm in Rio de Janeiro right now, as I think most of you know, life over here is amazing. I have a beach, I have a free gym on my beach. I approach women in the morning. I met a fitness model this morning. Um, we've got we've got each other's Instagrams. So we're going to go out next week. She's going to introduce me some her, some of her friends. She's a DJ and a fitness model. It's really easy to meet people, and I'm here to guide you through it. Uh, so if you are interested in coming out here, if you have any questions, if you want any help, either in person or over Skype, helping you build these morning routines, helping you reset your attention, helping you approach the women that you're currently too anxious to approach, you should get in, you should get in contact by my Calendly link, which is in the description below, book a free 30 minute breakthrough session where I literally coach you for free for 30 minutes, help you with whatever you can, whatever you need help with, any questions you have, and we can move mountains together. This has been a pleasure, as always. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video tomorrow. Take it easy, stay safe, Sam out.